Hello crypto fam thanks for tuning back to my channel in my last video i have shown you how to detect metamask wallet and how to prompt user to install it if not already done and finally how to connect with metamask wallet if you haven't watched that video already please go and watch it first as i'll be using the same code snippet and i'll be adding more functions to that same code snippet now i'll leave the video link in the description so be sure to check it out now today we will learn how to detect users current chain and how to switch user to another chain we will also discuss how to add a new chain to metamask wallet so let's get started so from my last video i'll be using the same set of files to start our server we'll be using vanilla javascript this time as well and we'll be using web3.js library today I will create a separate wallet.js file and inside it I will write the logic for detecting user chain and switching it to desired chain. We will directly start assuming metamask is already installed so that we can test it easily. So let's get started. Okay, first we will add a script to load web3.js file. We will be actually using web3.js library today. Now I'll be creating a new file wallet.js today and I'll actually update it in index.html file. And I'm actually installing Nodemon so that we don't have to restart the server manually every time we do any update. As soon as we save any changes to any of the files, the server automatically get restarted, which is very handy for development. Now I'll be using the same initialized function and inside it, I'll write my own code. So let's add it here. Initialize gets called when the DOM contents are ready. Let's fill in now this initialize function. Now I'm defining a connect function, which I'll call first. It's going to be an async function. Now similarly as last time, we are actually extracting this window.ethereum object and we'll first check whether this is null or not. If not, that means there is an ethereum provider that's present. Metamask, mist, etc. Let's console log it that Ethereum provider is detected. Now we are going to await Ethereum dot request method would be eth underscore request accounts. Now why we are doing this here is that previously there used to be another function called Ethereum dot enable that you had to first call before enabling your provider. However, right now that is deprecated and in that place we'll actually use this request accounts. And now I'm creating a global Web3 object so that we can use it throughout all the functions. Oops. Need to update this to Web3. Since we already loaded the minified file into our index.html file, we can directly use this Web3 library. Now let's await switch network. And now I'll be writing code for this switch network next. Now let's define this function switch network. It's also going to be an async function. First, we'll need the current chain ID to ascertain whether do we really need to switch the network or the user is already on our desired chain. So for that, we can actually call web3.eth.getChainID function. I'll actually show you all these functions on web3 documentation page in just a bit. So the current chain ID, let's log it. Okay. And then, uh, okay, we can return this chain, but yeah, okay, I can create a new function actually altogether where I say get chain ID, get current chain ID, and I can actually put all this code over there. Now here I can actually take current chain ID, await switch network, I'm sorry, web3.eth.get chain ID. Okay, now we can log this current chain id okay good now let's continue our next set of logic okay we can log it here in get current chain id so now it's good now let me proceed with the other part of the code which is to actually switch network i'm just adding try and catch folder here and let's call await web3 dot current provider dot request 
method would be valid underscore switch ethereum chain id i mean switch ethereum chain i'll just show you in a bit on metamask talks what's the method name that we need to use okay it's here in rpc apis if you see there is a switch ethereum chain the method name is valid underscore switch ethereum chain let's see if we have any examples for this let me scroll up and check it yes we do have an example i'm gonna copy it we can actually call this ethereum dot request instead of doing ethereum dot current provider which i'll just do in a bit okay as you can see this is the minified version of web3 library that i was importing and let's get back to our code let me update the params to chain id okay looks good let's log if there are any errors error occur while switching to chain id let's log the chain id and the error okay perfect let's log it here as well if it's successful let's just say chain switch successfully or something like that okay yeah let me increase the font a little bit and yeah collapse it yeah it's much better now now we can call this connect function let me do a little bit of cleanup okay now one more thing that we want to check is if the current chain id is not equal to the chain id that we desire we should actually then only we should actually make a switch ethereum chain call and not otherwise so let's add everything inside the first if condition and we should pass something to this switch network also a chain id where we want to actually switch to so i'm just going to take first the gorilla networks chain id and then we'll be using oops let me check what is the gorilla's network id quickly okay spelling is incorrect so sorry for that it's five let's say later on we want to change to polygon as well so i'll be taking the chain id of polygon and i should remove this i'm getting confused between colang and javascript okay i'll return i'll remove this return statement from here and i'll actually add it in get current chain id that's why the later part was grayed out in the editor now one more thing that i want to do is remove this older code of connect button and i'll just write a heading over there which is our detect metamask and switch to chain tutorial detect current chain and switch to be one chain on metamask okay great now i'll be starting it with nodemon so if you don't want to use npx you can actually install nodemon globally i don't want to install it so i'm using it via npx Okay, you can see we are seeing this heading and we are seeing this error record while switching chain to chain id i'll just update this error message also in a bit <clears throat> so with that we don't do see this object object um now i'm again getting an error that this does not exist so i'm just going to update there is a typo in the name of the method hmm. it should work now and it got restarted automatically let's see Hmm. 
now we got another error message okay we need to pass chain id in hex i think we are already using web3.utils let me check what the issue is oh this is empty we should pass some chain id let's pass corelli chain id and let's check what the output is okay it restarted once again nodemon has restarted server and yes we are getting a prompt to switch to corelli network which is great if you observe we don't have to add any network details because Gorilla is by default added in metamask okay now we should check it actually by putting polygon chain id there and we should actually get an error because the chain should not exist because it's not there by default okay unrecognized chain id you can see the error message it says unrecognized chain id try adding the chain using valet add ethereum chain first so we should actually invoke this method first valet add ethereum chain to actually add polygon now one more thing that i want to do is uh, let's update this error message okay so that we don't see object dot object let me reload it and let me see yeah now we are getting proper error message okay so to add a new chain we should call valid dot add ethereum chain method okay this is the interface let me see if we have the example not this yes let's copy this we should actually add polygons network details somewhere here let me okay let me first write add network function itself then we'll write down about the network details so this is going to be an async function again I'll be adding try and catch methods okay let's console log the error but let's first fill this try block okay I just pasted what I had copied and let's fill in this chain ID chain name RPC URLs and other parameters let's actually create a network details object and we'll actually pass it here Okay, I'm going to now create one network details object for polygon. And we'll be using that for the our demo today. Polygon network details. Let's say network chain ID. Okay, this is all we should pass. Let me see the interface itself. I think I'll be copying it from there. okay now let's fill this in i'm going to open metamask docs to help us with all these details and as you all know we'll actually need this web.utils.2hex to actually convert this chain id into a hex string we'll take polygon chain id we'll add it here Okay, it should not be actually metic, it should be, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to the official docs of Polygon and I'm opening at Polygon Network manually. Let's copy all the settings here. Okay, I updated this Polygon mainnet. Let me remove all the semicolons since I copied it from the interface. It will copy it as such. Okay. Symbol is going to be matic only. This one is going to be 18. We'll leave it as such. And let me get the RPC URL. It has to be an array of string. Okay. Even block explorer URL is going to be an array of string. Polygonscan.com. this is not required okay great now we'll call this add network let's fill this error details also error occurred while adding network 
that's a new chain with chain id dot chain id and let's pin the error error dot message okay now we'll call add now we'll call add network function from here and we'll be passing polygon network okay let's check if we have got any issues okay this, there's a typo 29th line 39 i mean sorry okay now we got the prompt to add polygon network you can see all the details are available and we'll approve it and metamask is actually asking us a prompt to switch the network so now we have switched to polygon network i think this is previous error let's see if we switch to polygon or not and voila yes we did switch to polygon mainnet network into our metamask valid If you check the settings, you go to networks, you can see Polygon mainnet got added. You can see all the details are present and available. Okay, one more issue that I see here is that we should not call add network all the time, but only specifically when the chain is not available because the error could occur for a multitudinal of reason while switching chains. We should only show this error when this chain does not exist. So I'm looking to delete this once again to just demonstrate how to know whether the chain exists or not from the error. So let's now reload the page. Let's see what the error is. Okay. Okay, if you see original error, the code is 4902. Only for those errors where the code is 4902 we should actually add network we should call add network and not in other cases so i can actually print this error dot code to show you all what's the code let's reload the page okay now you can see we are getting 4902 so let's add that logic here if error dot code equals 4902 in that case we call add network okay think i'm getting an error occurred while adding new chain with request of type already pending for a region okay i need to cancel this already open pop-up here yeah. now we should get a prompt to add approve switch network and voila we have switched to polygon mainnet so that was it for this video folks we saw how to detect the current chain of the user and how to switch the chain so that is it for this video i hope you all like this video if you did please give a like to this video subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you in the next video Bye bye